Welcome and thank you for joining us at our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're asking God to help us dwell deeply in His Word so we can bear His fruit. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Put to one side the events of today as you ease out the tension in your body. Come now, as you are, to hear the word of the Lord. This is the place to be still before God, allowing Him to fill you with His awesome presence and infinite love. Creator God, you made the earth and filled it with your goodness and your glory. You made me too, and I pray you would help me to bear your image well in this world. Jesus says in Mark 4, 18 to 20, Some people, like seed sown among thorns, hear the word. But the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desires for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like seed sown on good soil, hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop some thirty, some sixty, some a hundred times what was sown. Planting a seed in the ground isn't difficult, but watering, tending the soil, and waiting patiently certainly is. It takes discipline and hard work to nurture that first tiny green shoot. We may not realize it, but we are constantly planting seeds in our hearts. What we watch, what we listen to, what we read, what we do, before long, all these seeds bear their own kind of fruit in our lives, some beautiful and some not. We have a role to play in the fruit our lives produce. As we pause tonight, Let's allow our heavenly gardener to search our hearts and help us to see which seeds are helping grow his fruit and which are not. For everything the Lord grows is lasting and good. Come and let God's word dwell richly within you this evening, producing all he desires in your life just as he has promised. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Dear Lord, please bring to my mind the unhelpful seeds I have planted in my heart. I want to repent of those things and offer the soil of my heart for the seeds of your word. Lord God, 
Please help me to be patient as I wait for your fruit to grow in my life. I long to be transformed quickly, but I recognize this is a lifelong journey. You will complete your work in your time. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word which guides me, comforts me, and renews my mind according to your heart. Thank you for the delight of being able to come and know you, Lord. There is no greater joy. As I know you, please make me more like you. Amen.